Hi friends, this is a short video on repairing a chime alarm where the rubber gom grommets for the, uh, I don't know if you call this a bezel, uh, for the dial that holds the dial in, um, where all those grommets have, where all those grommets have um, deteriorated and uh, basically melted inside the clock. Um, so here is the size of the grommets that I found at a local store. Um, this is a 3 16 by 5 16 rubber grommet. And I'll pick up the video after I get these in place and show you how those work, but uh, those seem to be the right size. And this is for a Big Ben chime alarm. This one was made in uh, November 27, 1933. Okay, friends, I've got uh, those grommets installed there. They're not, they're relatively easy to get installed. If you just use a small screwdriver and just kind of work them in all the way around, don't just try to push them on. That's a pain in the ass, but uh, if you just work them in all the way around, I'm, you know, a few beers in tonight and <clears throat> it wasn't too hard to, to do that. So um, now this will fit nicely on, uh, on the clock and uh, those grommets seem like they're going to work well. So I'll, uh, don't have a way to hold the phone and do all the, the bolting on there, but uh, we'll come back and have a look when she's all set. Okay, so she's all on in place. And uh, fun fact, when I got a few of these uh, bolts on here, it did stop. Um, but uh, I kind of backed them off a little bit, just uh, but it must have tweaked the frame just a little bit. And the clock did stop momentarily, but... Uh, after kind of adjusting those back a little bit, uh, it started back up again. This is only on about a half a wind, so, uh, or a half of a full wind, I should say. So, um, not a lot of uh, tension on there, but uh, um, this usually, this clock I just serviced and it starts up about after two full revolutions on the wind. Um, so, uh, working pretty well. Uh, made me uh, kind of wonder why it stopped there for a minute when I was putting those bolts on the top, but uh, she's working well now. All right, friends, back again. So I got the dial in place and the hands back on there. Um, maybe wondering why I have some electrical pliers here. This is just using this for a tappy tap. Didn't want to use my big hammer for that job, so just a light tap at the end of the screwdriver on here just to kind of shut those hands back on there very gently okay friends so i have the alarm bell back on here just the three screws and the uh, basically breaking the clock into thirds um so that's put together and as you can see it's keeping time or at least we got five minutes uh on the time there and i did check it the other day and it was keeping really good time so glad to get this clock put back together so we can enjoy it Okay, friends, so I've got this uh, clock all put back together again. The uh, only thing I, else I want to do on this clock is to clean up the little bit of the rust on the back of this and maybe even re-nickel plate the back. Um, and it's missing the alarm on-off knob. So I need to replace that and maybe clean up like some of these screws and make this look new. Probably maybe you nickel plate this, although I think this is supposed to be black. So um, if I looked underneath there, I could see a little bit of black paint. So I think all the black paint is chipped off. So I'm not sure if I want to restore that to the original or do like the nickel color too. But uh, it's all wound up and uh, let's see if uh, she uh, if she works. Um, favorite part of the chime alarm is the alarm part. So set the alarm for five o'clock because it's my favorite time of day. And we'll see if she, uh, she goes off at five. And she's not going off. Oh, there she goes. That's a very soft chime. I actually kind of like that. Um, 
not as strong as what I was kind of thinking after replacing all the grommets and everything. Um, I did set, I think anyways, uh, the uh, slower part of the chime to go longer. Um, so maybe uh, I'm not, don't, I don't believe I'm getting a full wind on the, uh, on the chime. Um, so may have to take that apart and put some extra winds on that. Um, so that could be why you're not getting a real strong alarm, but hey, you know, don't need this thing to wake up the neighborhood. So hope you enjoyed the video and uh, look forward to doing my next one. Take care.